basil here again. Um, rivers are blown out today because of a big storm last night, so I figured I'd spend a little bit of time getting things ready for our trip to Alaska that we're planning. Um, I did find out that when you're up in Alaska, they don't allow you to have felt bottom boots. Uh, so I'm going to be replacing my current Sims Boa boots that I really like. Uh, and uh, instead of buying another pair of Sims boots with rubber bottoms, I decided to go ahead and try the Corkers Dark Horse boots. They should be coming tomorrow. Uh, but uh, reading some reviews online, uh, they said that the uh, rubber bottoms on the boots um, are still pretty slippery on the rocks up there, so they recommended either getting some kind of carbide tips uh, or other uh, bottoms that would bite into the rocks a little bit better. One good review uh, talked about getting these um, corkers uh, bottoms with the aluminum hex discs in them, and so I ordered these and they came in actually yesterday uh, before my boots. Um, uh, online, though, they uh, tend to mention that uh, one of the concerns is, of course, the discs coming loose uh, during your trip and losing the discs. Um, so they tell you on here very clearly that uh, don't just put these onto your bottoms of your shoes, uh, of your boots, excuse me, but uh, go ahead and tighten the discs first. Um, so what I'm planning on actually doing, oh, and they do give you the hex nut uh, wrench that to go ahead and do the tightening, uh, so that comes with the kit. Um, what I'm planning on doing though is to taking all these off uh, and uh, using a little Loctite uh, on the threads, uh, which is the blue version Loctite, uh, to uh, help keep that a little bit more secure and prevent that from coming off during our trip. I'm also going to put a little dab of shoe, do, uh, shoe glue underneath each one of the discs uh, in order to uh, help prevent those from slipping. Uh, so I'll be doing that in the garage here in just a few minutes and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the instructions say on the uh, Loctite that you're supposed to uh, give it a good 24 hours after for curing uh, before use and I'm planning on trying to try them out tomorrow uh, assuming they come on time. Okay so the first thing is to unscrew each one of these uh, and hopefully they'll have metal um, female components um, so you can either use the the wrench provided which I think is actually a metric Allen wrench uh, but I'm gonna try and speed up the process uh, I've got a little hand drill uh, and this is just gonna be for undoing everything and we'll just unscrew each one of these and it does look like they have metal inserts uh, so that's actually good for the Loctite um, so hopefully that'll uh, make things better and then what I'm going to do is just put a little dab of, um, of shoe goo on here also to just create a little bit better contact between the discs and the actual uh, pads of the soles of the boot. Okay, so I got all the discs taken off and I'm going to be using the uh, Loctite thread locker uh, formulation is the blue one which is the medium strength and this is also one that you can undo, it's removable. Um, unlike the red one, if you get the red one, you might get it on there and you might not be able to get it off unless you really heat it up, but I don't think these soles can handle that. So I'm going to go with the blue uh, version, which is the removable version. And we'll put a little dab of this on each thread before I screw them back in. And uh, before I put the, uh, the um, thread locker on, I'm going to take just a little dab of shoe glue on each one of these and just kind of put it down just to kind of help create a little extra bond between that shoe and uh, and the nut. I found this is probably the easiest way to do this. Again, I'm really not too worried about you know, getting this perfectly on there because the nut's going to spin a little bit and hopefully lock that down. We'll just spread it out just a little bit. stuff dries pretty quick so I'm just going to do kind of half of them maybe spread it out a little bit Again, I'm hoping 
this just creates a little extra adhesion, but it's still going to be something I can break and remove later on. All right, let's stop there, and let's take our discs, take a little bit of the Loctite on here. <laughs> Whoa. So this is actually a little plastic kind of material. Now I'm going to put my drill on a really loose setting here just to kind of get these things started, but then I'll finish them by hand. So you kind of get the picture. I'm going to keep doing this on all the rest. Okay, so I got them all set using the drill just on a really loose setting, and I'm just going to go ahead and hand set each one. They don't, fortunately don't tell you how much to torque these down, but I'm afraid if you tighten them too much, you'll uh, strip those. You'll strip those. Uh, what you call it? Threads on the inside. They do have little marks to kind of get the discs to line up, so I'm going to follow those little guides. We'll see what happens. But hopefully, this combination will help keep these things pretty secure. Actually, it feels pretty good. All right, so we'll give it a try and we'll see. I'll do the other one. And then tomorrow I'll uh, put these on my boots, I'll let these dry, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so here are my new corkers. Um, these are size 12. Um, they came with a felt bottom originally. Um, they also come with a uh, rubberized bottom uh, called the Klingon, which is apparently a little bit better. Uh, to grip on rocks and, and, and light. Um, but then um, I go went ahead and installed the um, hex nut aluminum bottoms. Uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, pop the bottoms off and just take that little clip off the back. But uh, the only thing that I found out is that the weight of these things changes significantly the original felt bottoms, each one is about uh, five ounces, uh, and the boots felt very light. The Klingons uh, add another ounce to the bottom, uh, but the metal ones add 11 ounces per boot. Um, so much heavier, uh, but you know, if they help prevent you from falling down, obviously going to be worthwhile. I'm not planning on hiking a long distance in these boots, uh, really going to be just using it. Uh, up in Alaska, you know, probably going from a uh, boat uh, to the shore or from boat to a plane, uh, but not a lot of long hiking. Um, in either case, though, I do have the other bottoms that I can switch out, and I'll take these with me to Alaska. Of course, I'll leave the felt home because I can't use those up in Alaska. Okay, everybody, so made it out to the river, and uh, I'm going to be trying out the uh, new uh, corkers today. Uh, we've got the uh, hex nut screws on the bottom, um, and we're going to see how this goes, uh, both walking on some rocks as well as mud. Uh, got to go down a big, big bank here in order to get down to the river, uh, and uh, we'll see how things go, see what the traction is, uh, see how comfortable they are as the day progresses. Um, so um, hopefully I'll give you a little update report after a few hours of fishing. So as for these corkers, as I uh, walk up through these rocks, through all this, uh, they're moss-covered rocks, boulders, very irregular. I haven't slipped at all. If anything, I've stumbled a little bit because they grip so hard as soon as you touch the ground. You just have to be a little careful. It's not like you can slide on them. Uh, because they really do grip very, very well. Uh, but there's no real slippage at all. Um, so I'm pretty happy with those. Uh, much better than uh, just a rubber bottom. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, 
All right, finally finishing up the day. We had a pretty good day overall. Spent my whole day in the Corker boots first time. Uh, overall impression, really good. Uh, didn't slip at all. Climbed over a lot of rocks and moss. Uh, climbed up, you know, edges of the river. Banks, didn't slip at all. Uh, so hopefully as long as they hold up, uh, they're going to be a great asset uh, for me to, to take to Alaska and uh, to fish later on around here too. Um, I'm interested to see what it would be like to put the felt bottoms back on, uh, but I really wanted to try out the hex bottoms today uh, and, uh, and see how they did. Uh, so overall impression, great. So um, if you're interested in those, uh, pick up a pair and give them a try. By the way, uh, the greatest thing at the end of the day, obviously taking your boots off, but uh, as you get older, it gets harder to bend over and do all that, especially when you're stiff from a day of, of uh, fishing. So with the boas, just pull up, the whole boot loosens up real easy, and you can just pull your foot right out. Um, I, I can't tell you how much I enjoy that versus having to reach down and reach down and undo my laces all the time. So uh, boas are great too.